This is the saddest video ever, guys. Because so many people are uninstalling Roblox, dude, at an alarming rate. And it's for a reason that is kind of useless. I don't know. Burger King might be coming to Roblox, and I'm very angry. <laughs> and also, Roblox is apparently... Oh my god, what a voice crap. And Roblox is apparently moving. But before I get into all that, I'm just gonna ask you to subscribe. Because uh, whenever you subscribe, my day gets a gazillion times better. And I'm also still sick. I don't know what is going on, but I am still freaking sick. And if you subscribe, I'll get a little bit better. I guess you guys just aren't subscribing, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, let's get to the first story because there is quite a bit of news I want to talk about with the first story being this. Just some small little changes to the friends list because Lucas tweeted out this. Roblox has changed the order of the friends list to be recently added opposed to alphabetically. And then we can see in the comments, Corey responded, which if you don't know who Corey is, I think he works on Roblox. And I think the part of Roblox he works on is the like uh, profile aspect of Roblox. So he usually handles stuff with the friends list. And he says that other people's friends will be sorted by recently added added we will fix it for your own friends to be the ones that you interact with most which is very cool but yeah so tldr basically roblox is making it so friends lists are no longer alphabetically ordered i think right now they still are for most people but some people they might not be but in the future though your friends list on your own screen on your own friends list will be eventually sorted by friends you are most actively playing with i guess which is pretty interesting so yeah that's just a small little update to the friends list i think it could be pretty positive and i guess we'll see what happens uh in the future with this I assume this is also going to be rolling out with the 1,000 friends limit thing, which should be coming out in the next coming months. But yeah, that's what's going on with all of that. But now we can move on to the next story, which just happens to be an update to the Jared Valdez suing Roblox situation, because uh, I think it got bad. Uh, so Jared Valdez is a old time Roblox player that used to take games and copy them and then re-upload them and make a lot of Robux and stuff off of that. And, a bit, and basically he got banned like 12 years ago or something for doing, you know, that said thing where he would steal games. And basically he was like a huge notorious Roblox player. Like if you are an old time Roblox player, you know who this guy is because of, you know, his, his practices, I guess. And basically a couple days ago, he tweeted out saying that he was going to sue Roblox if they don't unban his account because his account is apparently worth millions of dollars due to like the limiteds he has on it the games and like everything whatever and basically when he initially made that tweet everybody was kind of rooting behind him jokingly they're all being like oh that'd be so funny bro go for it like let's see what happens but now a couple days later he has tweeted out this which has kind of soured a lot of people's uh, vision of this whole situation because jared valdez tweeted out this over a quarter of a million people saw my post about suing roblox in order to have a fighting chance i need your help by donating to my gofundme for my legal fees with a link to this said gofundme me and now you can already tell that people are not happy with this oh my god all of the comments dude all of the comments are not ripping them apart for this dude <laughs> vitamin called him an idiot people are calling him washed up oh my gosh you guys are ripping him apart for this and honestly i kind of get it like you shouldn't you, you shouldn't be asking people on the internet for money willy-nilly unless you really need it <laughs> i don't know <laughs> you can see people like ruben sim replying saying just donated 20k good luck ah yes thank you ruben sim i wonder how much money money this actually made let me go check so far it has made 46 dollars guys not that bad not that bad out of the fifty thousand dollar goal i think that's pretty close either way though i am wishing jared valdez the best of luck assuming roblox are getting his account back uh to have a great time dude but either way we can now move on to something that's even funnier and it's burger king because they tweeted out this for some reason they said should we open up a burger king on roblox and uh in response roblox responded actually saying yes one fit for a king and uh th that that's sucks, dude. I don't want Burger King on Roblox, bro. Every time you eat a Burger King Whopper, it makes you really stinky, bro. I can smell someone that ate a Whopper from a mile away, okay? Burger King sucks, all right? I don't want this on my dang platform, all right? Maybe you'll be able to, like, buy burgers within Roblox. Probably not. You know, honestly, I feel like that'd be the only, like, cool thing is if you could, like, order DoorDash through Roblox. I think that'd be kind of sick, to be honest. But yeah, either way, that's that news, I guess. But now we can move on to something that is kind of awesome, all right? And it's Roblox finally making these items wearable. But they released an update yesterday that made it so particle items no longer show while in first person. And the reason this is such a big deal is because, yeah, the particles would show in first person, which would literally block your screen in every single game you'd play that didn't manually remove those items for you, which, uh, newsflash was like most games on the platform. But now Roblox has finally made it so particle emitters do not show in first person anymore, and you can now wear any item that you want with particle emitters, uh, freely. So that means, like,
like items like the Corblox Deathwalker or like the new uh, hats from the classic event that had particle effects on the eyes. You can now wear those without them getting in your dang way, which uh, is awesome, dude. But now we can move on to something that's also kind of funny, and it's people deleting Roblox at an alarming rate. Because if you go to the Roblox TikTok comment section, you will notice that there's so many people saying this uh, verbatim, all right? I'm gonna delete Roblox if you don't reply. Now, I'm not gonna read more comments like this because there is so many, and they all say the same thing. Now, when I first started seeing these comments, I was just like, oh, it's just people being people, you know? It's just, it's just what people do on TikTok. They're, they're, they're farming, dude. They're farming likes on their comments, right? But then I realized that sometimes Roblox actually does reply to these comments, such as this person right here that said, Roblox, if you don't reply, I'm deleting Roblox. Please, I love Roblox. Please reply. In which Roblox actually replied saying, please don't. So I guess now, ever since two days ago, people saw this comment and they're trying to repeat this, this thing by saying the same thing in the comments. And I know dang well these people are not deleting Roblox. They're all liars. They're all frauds. I know they are. But either way, if Roblox doesn't comment on this video, I'm deleting it forever, guys. Uh, real and true. I am not lying. But yeah, either way, there's just so many people trying to delete Roblox because they want to get a reply from them. I don't know. If Roblox replies, I will play nothing but Roblox for a week. They just took the other comment and flipped it. But yeah, that's what's going on with that. But now we can move on to the next story, which is Roblox moving. Yeah, they're actually moving uh, headquarters, I guess. Because this tweet from Bloxy News says this. Effective January 1st, 2025, Roblox will officially move their corporate headquarters to the new location at, I don't know, at <laughs> this d address right here. But yeah, basically they're moving their headquarters, which is pretty, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, they're moving their headquarters. I don't know. I think it is kind of crazy because they have had the old headquarters for many, many years. Like, I think for a long time. Like, I, I can't even remember when they didn't have this headquarters. But yeah, that's what's going on with that. They're just moving into a new headquarters very, very soon. And that's it. Th that's all. But now we can move on to another story, which just happens to be this very interesting thing that I saw from Adidas. Because for some reason, Adidas, the official account, tweeted up this. One out of one delivery completed with a video of someone holding up some golden Adidas shoes with man faces on the back of it, which is just what? Why? Now, they did reply to a comment or another tweet from Simon Blocks, who I think made, I think he made Shark Bite on Roblox. But he tweeted out this, one custom pair of man-faced Adidas shoes, please. And he was replying to another tweet that was just talking about some other UGC Adidas sponsorship, whatever. And I guess months later, Adidas has finally uh, taken up that promise and has made a one out of one shoe with a man face on the back, which is crazy. Like, why? <laughs> they did not have to do this, but they did. And I think that's kind of awesome, dude. I, that, hey, shout out Adidas. That's kind of funny, dude. I like that. And yeah, apparently the original person that made that tweet did actually get the shoes. And the box they come in looks absolutely crazy. It comes with like gloves, dude. Because yeah, I'm guessing these shoes are like insanely rare. And if you ever touch them, you're gonna have to use those gloves in the box because you don't want to mess them up. I wonder what the resale value on these shoes are. Because like they're not that nice, to be honest. But like they are one of one. Like there's no other shoe like this and they are official, you know? But yeah, that's what's going on with those rare shoes. The rare roblox shoes dude but now for the last story it's one that's kind of boring but it's still worth mentioning because it is massive but basically i saw this tweet right here from roblox rtc that just simply says ultimate football has officially partnered with the nfl so yeah there's a game called ultimate football i don't really know anything about it i don't play sports games but i know it was pretty popular and apparently they officially sponsored with the nfl which is i think the second biggest like sports organization in the world maybe the third i don't know maybe the first i have no clue but i know it's massive uh because because it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's football. And football is like one of the biggest sports in the world. So, I mean, that's just insane. And yeah, I, I thought that was kind of cool.